Hey, this is Ari, and in this video, I wanted to share with you a little clip from a recent podcast I did with Anne Louise Gittleman on keys to radical longevity. She has a very, very unique take on things and some very interesting novel strategies that she's recommending for disease prevention and longevity. So check out the clip and uh, down below in the description is a link to the full length podcast, which I also recommend checking out. Enjoy. First, I want to talk, so you said there's two minerals that stockpile in the brain that can contribute to neurological diseases. It sounds like copper and iron. Yes. Okay. And what, what would be, you know, one or two tips for people to, um, either prevent that from occurring or, or to help lower the, the amounts of copper and, uh, and iron that have accumulated in the brain. So the first one would probably be iron. So I would suggest that everybody gets on a yearly basis a ferritin blood test, which is very simple to get in any particular lab. Normally the doctor doesn't prescribe them, but a ferritin blood test, which is stored iron. So you want to make sure that that stored iron is below 100 on the test. You've got to be below the number 100 because the test ranges from 300 to 1,000. You want to be below 100 because those people that are below 100, particularly the blue zone people, are the healthiest people in the world and have the longest lifespan. So if it is over 100, you want to get it down to that and you give blood on a, on a yearly or every three month basis, depending upon your level. So taking a ferritin test is important. Getting rid of your cast iron pots and pans would be second in line to the importance of the ferritin test. Many of my fr friends, family, fans, people that did the beta group and the testing, when we found high ferritin and we found it in young people, older people, males that were coming down with heart disease and all kinds of predispositions to diabetes, we got rid of the iron pots and pans and they came down at least 100 points within three months. Wow. That is a biggie. I never realized that iron was such a double-edged sword, but the reality is as women, you know, we menstruate on a monthly basis until we reach the age of menopause, around the age of 51, and then we start accommodating ourselves to the same levels of heart disease as males. So iron is a biggie. It's also a big, plays a big triggering role in heart disease based on studies that were done way back in the 1990s. So iron is a double-edged sword. Getting a ferritin test, exceedingly important for every single one of us. If you want to beat diabetes, if you want to beat Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and even ALS. Mm -hmm. Excellent. And, and what about copper? So I've been interested in copper for decades. I wrote a book called Why Am I Always So Tired? Because I have been a copperhead copperhead for many, many years. <laughs> and I never knew that there was a real difference between food-based copper, which is in your food from avocados, nuts and seeds and tea and soy products, of course, that are fermented, and the divalent or synthetic copper, which is unbound that you're gonna get in your vitamins and minerals, you get it in copper sulfate sprays, and you get it in your water, the water that's carried into the house through copper pipes. So when writing the book, Ari, I was approached by a gentleman out of the blue, and I thought this was the universe kind of speaking to me in some way, who said that he had the answer to Alzheimer's. And I said, what is that answer to Alzheimer's? It was Dr. George Brewer, and he's mentioned in the book. He has made a connection between the rise of Alzheimer's and the implementation of copper water pipes in developmental countries a century ago. And he's shown with graphs how that is very much correlated. So the way that you can prevent that from happening is by making sure that you have a copper blocking water filtration system like reverse osmosis and looking at your vitamins and minerals and getting those that are copper free. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Um, you mentioned blood donation and you said something about the frequency of blood donation, basing it on your ferritin results on the blood tests. Can you just, yes. can you repeat what it was? What, what was your recommendation on that? So for those that have a ferritin level at about 200, I would start giving blood every two to three months until that level comes down to a hundred. If it is at least let's say 100, then you're in the safe range. So on a, on a yearly basis, it's a matter of course, because you're benefiting the person that you're donating to, you're benefiting yourself, give blood yearly. It's the best way to prevent a heart attack. Okay. And the, why well, I have a couple questions uh, and comments. One is um, I, I recently looked into the research on blood donation 
And I was actually really impressed with the, the, the clear link, the clear signal in the research showing a link with longevity and giving blood regularly. Um, so I love I, I, that. And, and I think that this is a, a key to health that has largely been neglected. And totally ignored. Nobody's talking about it. It's the easiest thing you can do. It's more important than anything else that I write about in the book. So I do agree with you. But the people that are the longest lived have very low iron levels in their blood. They have low ferritin levels. We're talking about the blue zones in the Mediterranean area. Yeah. Okay. So your recommendation is to keep it about 100. But I think you said that the, the, the it's, test is the normal range they're saying is 300 to 500 or 300 to 800. It, it depends upon the lab. Okay. If it depends upon the lab, but based on the research that I did, it should actually be a little lower than 100. I'm giving that as kind of a round ballpark. You would be surprised when you have your patients, your listeners, your followers, your friends, your fans, when they start doing a ferritin test, it'll be all over the map. And this is one of the ways in which we can prevent early demise. Okay. Um, so the, but the low end on what they're considering their range is about 300. Is that correct? Depending upon the lab, it can be anywhere from 300 to 1,000. Okay, well, the, on the, but on the low end, right? Is that's it, their it... low end, but that's actually much higher. And the clinical tests that were done in Finland back in the 90s, those people that had 300 were on their way to a heart attack, their second heart attack. Interesting, so you've seen data indicative that they're, what they're saying is the low end and, and the normal range should actually be much lower than what it is. The optimally healthy range should be much lower. Yes, and that's based upon the longest lived people in the world, the blue zones and people living in the Mediterranean that are now considered the longest lived people in the world. Hey, this is Ari. And if you enjoyed this little clip, I highly recommend checking out the full length podcast by clicking the link down below this video in the description. Check it out. You're going to learn a ton more valuable information. Also, as always, I want to mention at the Energy Blueprint, we offer a ton of solutions to help you increase your energy and as a side effect, help you prevent disease, dramatically improve your brain function, your mood, combating anxiety and depression, increasing your resilience to stress and increasing your longevity. All nice bonuses to strategies designed to massively increase your mitochondrial function and your energy levels. And we've got a whole suite of products, uh, online info products that guide you on strategies to optimize your lifestyle and nutrition habits. Uh, we've got an eat for energy course. We've got a brain course. We've got an advanced fat loss strategies course. We've got a breathing for energy course, which I highly, highly recommend. Uh, people just absolutely rave about that one in particular. And we've got a whole suite of supplements, uh, mitochondrial formula, a brain formula, energy essentials and superfoods, which is our comprehensive multivitamin and multimineral and superfoods formula and much, much more. Actually, uh, we've got as of this moment in time, uh, depending on when you're watching this, but as of this moment, I'm recording it, I've got an uh, amazing new anti aging longevity formula on the way and an incredible new sleep formula that will be coming out in the next few weeks. Thank you for watching this again, full length uh, link to the full length podcast is down below. And uh, check out the energy blueprint.com for our whole suite of products that can help you dramatically transform your energy levels. Talk to you soon.